Akogu is not fasting. Akogu is not fasting. I wish you are here. <laughs> Behind the camera is so much fun. I mean, I don't want to use the word bully, but this gentleman here definitely doing something to me. Good afternoon and welcome, everybody. It's Monday, first work day in a brand new week. And of course, it's your program, The Buzz, your social media program on television. It's Monday, the 8th of July, 2019. My name is Patience for I'm always excited to be here. And that's because uh, my panelists, uh, hmm. <laughs> if only you know. But anyways, Akwa Gungari Kayaudi Balogun is with us again this afternoon. Uh, welcome, sir. Good yeah. afternoon. Thanks for joining us. He's a renowned journalist. He's uh, a social analyst. And he's also the OCRA on Oka Kampo for the entire Yoruba land. And he's always here on Mondays. We really appreciate you. Also joining us, Chief Gadi Ofose. This man. <laughs> It's the chief bully. It's the no, chief bully no, now. Despite his size. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. So Fosse. I appreciate it. I want to add something. Please do. I send you a text and over on, the, on, on Wednesday mm -hmm. when I was not going to be there. And you didn't do my work. What is that? I asked you. Are you sure I got to, that text? To wish me oh, my. happy 10th wedding anniversary. You on, sent it to me. I sent it on to air. You. I know I sent you on oh. Wednesday and you refused to do that. My bad, I did and not. I said, when I come to this, I meeting, did not refuse. I will announce. Oh, Mr. Foster, don't issues. do that. I did not. I did not refuse. <laughs> First of all, I would have seen seen it to have refused, and there's no way I would have seen it and refused. I didn't see your message. I didn't see your message. I didn't see your message. It's okay. First of all, it doesn't matter. Ten years, not enough. Second of all, when you get to twenty, we can begin to. There's no reason why I wouldn't wish you a happy wedding anniversary. No reason on that. Under this guy. in my church that I told them that in that ten years I've contemplated divorce ten years, ten times. Ten times. Because listen. That number it, is really low. It's low. I contemplate divorce every month, but we still keep it moving, you know? Like, <laughs> so that's a regular thing. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Ofose. I'm sorry, I, I must have missed your text. Yes. And to Mrs. Ijoma wow. Ofose, congratulations on your 10th year wedding anniversary. Really, it's a good thing, I mean, to have been in marriage for that long. Yeah, it's she, not easy. She, I've been married for 13 years and counting, so a, I know. She's a virtuous woman. Yeah, she is. <laughs> a very patient woman. So keep up with this I man here. I didn't say that. <laughs> One of these days, you're going to put all the pot of our fang soup. On the I hope you are listening. Yes. Next week, Monday, the Edikai Kong, yeah. the Afang, and the No, the Afang is here. No, it's not going to be with you. It's I like the Afang. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's Congratulations again, Mr. Fosse. Mr. Yeah. Fosse is the immediate past president for Brand Journalist Association of Nigeria. He's also a renowned journalist and a social analyst. And of course, also joining us at the table this afternoon, Mr. Peter Osangbe is here. Good afternoon, Mr. Thank Sangbe. you very much, Good afternoon. Thank you, sir, for joining us. He's a public relations expert, a businessman, and a social analyst. Welcome, viewers, to the show. 0802 8368971 is the number you can join us on for SMS only and today we'll be looking at uh, Nigeria and the free trade agreement of course if you've been watching the news you know finally President Muhammad Buhari has signed that particular agreement we'll be looking at what opportunities this will bring to Nigeria you know on a larger scale in terms of trade also we'll be reviewing the new legal state traffic laws and of course uh, the corresponding penalties attached to every offense and I know this is like on the lips of every single Lagosian that has a car at the moment yes is a trending issue all right but we start by way of trending news and our story today Loma shots down Songo Tedo market over illegal dumping of refuse. Business activities at Songo Tedo market Etiosa in Lagos State have been put on hold by the Lagos Waste Management Authority, LOMA, due to indiscriminate dumping of refuse and poor hygiene practices by traders, resulting in a serious environmental problem in the area. A statement issued by Loma's Director of Public Affairs, Mrs. Folashade Kadiri, cited the governor's executive order on traffic and sanitation matters, which stressed the state government's zero tolerance for environmental abuse, including illegal and indiscriminate dumping of refuse as well
well as the facing of the environment. It's noted that the government's efforts at restoring environmental sanity in the area were being thwarted by unhygienic activities of traders who had consistently violated environmental laws and refused to patronize assigned PSP operators. All right, gentlemen, let's comment 20 seconds each. We know that the, the first executive order of uh, the Lagos State Governor, uh, Babajide Sawolu, you know, really was on environmental law and all of that. So let's hear your take, Akogu. Well, we have to learn to live like human beings. We are not animals. It's not the first market that will be closed. Mm -hmm. Remember, there was a time Ladipo was also closed. Yeah. For the same reason, the mm -hmm. same thing with Ileko. Mm -hmm. Right, Lobo was also relocated due to incessant inability to keep the place clean. Sure. And we, they are, we have to start. And living what's in, this market, you know, after K2, mile, mile 12, mile 12 to, to, yes. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's, a, it's a series of things that government have to do. Like I said on this program once, when we were growing up in Lagos, the fear of the Holy Holy mm -hmm. was the beginning of wisdom. I think we need to go back to that era. Where people truly respect themselves mm -hmm. when it comes to IT. Mm. But can I ask this question? Shutting down the market, you know, every single time, is, is this like. Yes, I, give me one I, I know that, but is that a lasting solution to, it, it, to it, the it, issue of, of uh, indiscriminate dumping of refuse? It, it is, it is, because okay. fine, there are fines to mm. pay, but if they shut your premises, your business premises today, they shut it again after one or two weeks and mm. all that, you're losing income. Nobody, no businessman or woman wants to lose income. You want because one, you must have gotten your money, your capital by way of loan, okay. and your creditors are not going to listen to mm -hmm. excuse of uh, you know market was shut. That's not their business. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, you pay the interest and and the money as well. So I think it, it, that sanction is laudable. My only question is that they should be consistent, you know, in you know carrying it out. Okay. If you go to my twelve, the same thing. Don't mm -hmm. give you know uh, what they call um, a, a, a preferential treatment. Maybe somebody who has a place where they actually supported APC or your political party massively, you now take you them go. You now, yes. okay. so you don't want to do okay. that. Mm -hmm. But persistently doing that, we put some of these people on check. Okay, I get that. But then I'm talking, you know, uh, from the angle of what has the government put on ground in terms of waste disposal at this market? No, Is it place. enough? The, the Is it right. enough? Because yeah. you need Pension. to go to Nigeria. Virtually all the markets are dirty. Pension. Virtually let, all. Let, 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 me, let me bring in a perspective. Go ahead. Um, I don't know whether you have visited all the uh, modernized malls across Lagos. Mm -hmm. And um, and our normal everyday market. Mm. Um, there is nothing that is in Ikeja City Mall that you cannot find in a local market. Mm. Obviously nothing. Mm. Now, when you look at Ikeja City Mall, can you compare in terms of sanitation of to not. what is happening? Of course not. That place? Now, it's orientation. Everybody believes that. An average person believes that. Because even, even if you go to a local market, that, because me, myself and Akogun, we live in the same houses. Yeah. I will make use of that market very well because that is obviously, apart from the Aige market that has been demolished, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is obviously the only market that we shop. Mm -hmm. That is the local market that mm -hmm. we shop in the houses that we live. When you go to that place, the government has already created a system that this place should be dead. Mm -hmm. Yes. I get that. Because, first and foremost, the area is not well constructed. The, 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 the market is not well laid out. That's what I'm talking about. If it rains, you understand? So already, beside people uh, believing that when you are going to market, you must come back dirty. All right? The local market, you must come back dirty. When you go to market and tell somebody, you are just coming back from a local market, and tells you, no, you didn't go to a local market because he expects you to be dirty in a way. But when you go to... Um, you can just see more and come back. You look clean, you smell nice, and then. Now, at the end of the day, it's not all about punishment. I've always been saying it. Punitive measure does not correct anything mm. in the world. It has always been like that. Mm. If you want to know, check out armed robbery, firing squad. In fact, at the time military era, when they were doing fire squad, armed robbery was everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? Now, what you need to <coughs> do, first and foremost, is to ensure that those places are tidy because 
Personally, I'm in Galaxy today. I can't drain a such a water and drop it in this station. Mm. I will look for a place mm. to put it. I get, I get your line well, of thought. Can I ask you a question, though? Quickly. Why are we, why are we all concentrating on Songwolu and Lagos State government? What is the role of the local governments and LCDAs in the whole of this environment thing? Well, the, the problem is that let me go over let me so that well, you, you know that you know that you are okay. What is there that why we are concentrating <coughs> on this this thing is that the state government has taken over the responsibility of the local government. The now what they have done now is that in Lagos, you know that statutory. Lagos has to the local government. Mm -hmm. That is what the federal government, even Mr. Gwari, who is who shares who, who shares the same party with Zolu, understand. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. But um, in his good wisdom, um Alaji Bolat mm -hmm. this uh, divided Lagos into about fifty six local government, fifty seven or there around. Now we now have L C D A and the local government. Now, do you know that there is no need that there, there is no law that should back up NASA because you shouldn't collect local government revenue for the state. Okay. Local government should collect their money. Now, if there is a law that is bad in your in your place, the local government should now come to the state government and ask and say, but since they don't pay their allocation, I mean, they cannot... See, this is the problem. It's actually disturbing. That's the problem. Uh, tell right. the tenement mm -hmm. rate has now become land use charge. Mm -hmm. And the TV really lasts and has yeah. become household tax. Yeah. So he would take the money to also do the job. Of course. All right. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's clean up not just the market. <laughs> Thank you. Our environment. <laughs> Okay, before we go to our major stories of the day, let's go check out the video of the day. I saw this and I was shocked. Let's check it out. We'll be back.
to appreciate as part of our culture. Yeah. It doesn't no. even look proper in no, your clothes no, 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 no. for a military man to punish a masquerade. No, and they were making a show of it. The point is that I've seen one masquerade buying ice cream, mm. you know, and all that picture of beer. drinking beer. It's, you know, the same thing. Now. So, but, but, no, but you see, no, they're no. They're, they're, they're no, supposed yeah. to be But, but you see, the, 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 point, the point is just like your, you, you were talking about, you know, our culture. Yeah. Now, our kids are going to now grow up. Our kids, our generation, not you know knowing exactly. knowing things like this exactly. knowing the values that are attached not respecting them and all that in those days growing over you see a masquerade you know maxed up and everything you start running you don't believe that they can do and undo but i'm sure if, if they put this masquerade now in disney world or disney island you know we'll be paying money to paris or to america that's, to that's, that's, what, that's, yeah. what, so that's basically uh, what it is no, that, that's no. what halloween is all about yeah that's what halloween is all about this halloween said okay when I took my son to my village, and he's used to the American type of wrestling, and in the, it was during December, and we now went out for a local wrestling. When he saw the way they did it, he told me that, Dad, this is not wrestling. This is like, a, I said, this is the normal wrestling. The real one. This is the real one. This is not the one that you don't blow somebody, and the person has already fallen. This is the one that they carry you, eat you on the ground, and as soon as you guys begin to fight. That's the way it is. So some of these are our heritage that we should preserve. If, um, perhaps uh, religion, faith, other foreign faith, I don't want to mention them as coming and decimate whatever we also dare mm. for ourselves as a well, that, that, that just doesn't no, mean use, proper. Using the, using the masculine as a metaphor, I remember a story that happened to me when my youngest, mm. I told you the story, mm. I was in the hospital for, for two weeks. Mm. And she was getting deeper, she was not getting better. I had to take her to one alarm bro, and on that 10 minutes, she was sleeping and everything was fine. Mm. Normally, if that happened to somebody else, I would say it's a story. Yeah. But this is what happened to me. Yeah. And it's a reflection of how far we've gone. Oh, yes. We're the way things. That we uh, our stories in the death of our people mm. who have cured cancer in the past. Yes. Mm. And they are all men that live up to 120, exactly. they are full teeth. A full set of teeth. Please let's not throw away aspects of our culture that we So I'm just the one who's so that we feel it with it himself. It doesn't send the right message, you know, out there. Uh, I mean, everybody, where, whichever part of Nigeria you come from, you have one type of masquerade or the other, you know, that is a part of the history of the people. I'm from a dual state. And I know over time, my parents have always told me about the Gbaboneli me, you know, my. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, and I've gone out to see them a couple of times. Yeah. The acrobatics of this masquerade is simply out of this world. Yes. You cannot compare it to anything. I mean, we just can't throw it with that. The, the, the level of people are not playing with their Exactly. They, 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 they are so that not do that to Imagine, it, it imagine doing that to an AO. Yeah, yeah. masquerade. No, that's so wrong. All right, 0802. 8368971 is still the number to join us on. The new Lagos State traffic laws and penalties, what we'll be discussing right now. Since the newly elected governor, Babajide Sonwolu, assumed public office as executive governor of Lagos State, there's been a very strict approach to traffic management in the state. This extends to bringing every resident of the state to a whole new level of sanity and punishment for breaking Lagos traffic rules. According to the governor, the new Lagos state traffic laws and penalties is designed to protect law-abiding road users. It is also designed to ensure that those who flout any of these stipulations are made to face the consequences of their action so that they can be reformed and join the law-abiding group. However, the traffic management regime is not designed to empower officials of any agency of the state to molest, intimidate, extort, or make a lawbreaker out of any Lagos resident or stakeholder through the demanding and giving of bribes so as to avoid unsavory situations. So says Babajide Sawolu, Lagos State Governor. All right, let's go and see this video clip of the governor uh, having his say. Then we'll come back. You know, somebody that causes the border to the governor 
or sister to the deputy governor. You've been apprehended and you're making noise and you say that I'm going to call the governor, I'm going to call the deputy governor. I can assure you that we're in this together. And I'm going to tell my entire cabinet, if you are apprehended or you are caught for violating my rule, that's my first executive order, there is nobody they are going to call. Nobody is going to uphold the law. If the person says that he's a sister to the head of service, tell the person to call the head of service to come and pay the fine. To come and pay the fine. There are no rules that are being followed. They are just having a field day. I am therefore seeking you know, I mean, the, uh, the uh, uh, indulgence of your know, Excellency to reach out to the Commissioner of Police to direct all the police across the state to engage in the Welcome back. All right, you can still join us using the number 0802-836-8971. All right, gentlemen. Now, uh, every new governor in Lagos State always reviews, you know, the state traffic laws as it were. Now, let's talk about the resuscitation of this particular traffic laws in this new regime. A lot of road users in Lagos State are saying uh, the new laws are a bit too draconian you know and too too stiff as it were especially on the road road users don't, now, commit, don't commit the traffic offense okay the essence is to put you on your toes to mm. ensure that you don't commit them mm. as i was coming on allen avenue coming out from a shopping plaza mm -hmm. to now turn on allen or maybe run about yeah now the uh, local government will have put we normally turn there no u-turn no 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 one, one character just four cars ahead of me still turned there mm. and the local government persons stopped him of course. i do not now know what they made of him you mm. know because i had to turn and you know went my way mm. the truth of the matter is that we break these laws with all brazenness, mm -hmm. you know, without regard, you know, for, for the law and for other road users. It is dangerous, it is risky. So whether it's draconian or not is not the point. What we should be talking about is the resultant effect of breaking the law. Mm -hmm. What is the implication? The implication is that it could cause serious accident, it could maim somebody, somebody could lose their lives for it. So there's no there's no law that is too stringent to make you stop driving against one way. Mm -hmm. Don't you understand? Mm -hmm. it is a or not giving way to the person on the right. Oh, yeah. So it, but it raises question about you know, sanity. Yes, sanity and indeed the way we issue driver's license. If you just come, they don't even ask you whether you know how to drive or not. Oh, they no. drive as long license. as you can pay. You know, I, I, have, I have a UK driver's license, but before I got that driver's license, I saw hell. No, it took me two you years. And I, I, I failed three times. Three, and I started driving at 15. Mm. I failed three times. Not that I could not control and all that, but the fundamentals of the driving skills that they, they want you to know. You must know if you don't, sorry, you will fail and you will pay again to before you get your license. When you get your license in Europe or in America, it's like a party, it's like a birthday for you because you, 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 you've gone through it. And what that helps to do for you is that it helps you to be sane on the road, to, to maintain, to be responsible on the road. Mm -hmm. So, my sister, there's no, 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 is a welcome development. My only this today is that the, the, the last map people should not see it as an avenue to actually make money for themselves. Not, uh, because that's what uh, it has actually turned out to be. I thought that what we should be talking about, or what Nigerians or Legosians indeed should be talking about, is how we, we should prevent you know, uh, last mile people from personally, individually benefiting from it. In other climbs, such agencies generate revenue. For the, for the authorities. Mm -hmm. So pay. Every, you make your mistake, pay. There's POS. Mm -hmm. Pay. It goes to government. You, I mean, laws are broken. And when you break the law, you pay the fine. Mm -hmm. You park wrongly in London, you pay. They charge you. So the, the, uh, no, uh, no, uh, you have points deducted from, from your house. license. Mm -hmm. So what should we be talking about? If I did even deduct your license, points from, uh, 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 points from your license and withdraw your driver's license for six months and all that, those are ways in addition to the fine that you pay. So people should not be talking about the uh, okay. history of nature. All right, let me hear someone else. Okay, I think I have mentioned this here earlier, that uh, punitive measures always not the best way mm. to correct someone. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, law must always come with um, sanctions. Mm. Law must always come with sanctions. 
Now, <clears throat> the, the, I, I've traveled to my, the, my, my state a lot. I mean, during my campaign era. And I know that from Oron to Yo, obviously it's about normal driving, that's about um, 80 kilometer per hour, it's about 45 minutes. Now, um, <clears throat> I have never driving, driving from Oron to Uyo, I have never exceeded that. All right? And I don't have any reason to get late for a meeting. Mm -hmm. Now, from that place in Aquarium State, nobody speaks about breaking traffic laws. First and foremost, because roads are good. Roads are good. And the cars are not many. And the cars are not many. When it trains in Lagos, hmm. myself chaos. and, and Okoru lives in the same area, I have been again. One side of the Jew will be flooded, the other side will be dry. River, river. Now, what do you expect motorists to be? You, as you are coming, you see a car that wanted to dare to be a good citizen, mm. drive into that place and stop because the water gets into his engine and he cannot move. Mm -hmm. What do they do? Everybody takes one way. One. That is a different scenario. I'm, I'm coming um, uh, because all of these things, all of these things must be, must be factored in. Okay. Must, so that. The people that you say may not take advantage of those who do not know the law mm. will not take advantage of them. That as the last man and the traffic. Go ahead. Now, looking at all of those things, this laws has always been there. The problem has always been implementation. Mm. Where are the mobile courts? If the mobile court come up today, tomorrow you will not see them again. I was so excited. Do you know that my my license expi my, my license expired, my car license expired, and my driver's license expired. My driver license expired since April, that's um, November 5th on my birthday. And my car license expired in January. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Do you know what happened? Why I decided to go and renew them? Because I had that two cars were forfeited, were seized, and taken away from those who violated the traffic laws. Mm -hmm. And part of the traffic law is where you don't have complete license of your car, mm -hmm. you don't have a valid driver's license. Okay, you don't drive well. The reason why I decided to go and buy what I put in my ear because of my job, people call me. I cannot stop picking my call at all times, even when I'm driving. I have to go and buy this. I used to use this long one, and I, I don't think it's very com convenient for me. I need to go and get it. I get so, that. So okay. at the end of the day, I think why the government expect that the motorists, the commuters, especially in Lagos, do their job. Hmm. Because the biggest problem we have is at the bus stop. If you live at Agueba and you are taking a Beluta Expressway and you get to Yonopaja, Yonopaja on that bridge, especially you can spend one hour at Yonopaja on that bridge to just pass. Hmm. Now, okay. what, are, what are the factors that they do? The last month people are there, they are waiting. Hmm. Police, they are all there. Tra and, and traffic orders, they are all there. Nothing. As we speak with this law, because those guys pay them. They pay them. So they just wait. Because that's the only route now in Lagos, approximately that, that they know. Okay, to. let's talk about something else. Now, I can go. The least financial penalty, you know, according to this uh, new set of laws, is 20,000 naira, which is higher than. Minimum wage. The minimum wage, uh, you know. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. The minimum wage is 30,000 uh -huh. now. <laughs> Until implemented, I think I stick with it. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say, you know. So how how realistic really is this, you know, for the average Nigerian worker who owns a car, you know, and still has to drive on the road? If we go down there out, mm. we will not live here today. Mm -hmm. The reality is this. There are consequences for offenses. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is not to break them. That's the simple reason. It doesn't matter the amount. That's my position. That's the consequence. If, you, for example, when the VROs are still doing legal roads, mm -hmm. all you have to do is come to allow some fire department and get the authentic fire distribution. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is go to VIO office and do your normal documentation. Mm -hmm. So when they stop you, you can't call it fake. Because I went to your office, so I had the name of your boss. That. Okay. So that teaches you to do the thing. The right. Don't go to mm -hmm. a doubt. Don't cut corners. And then try to see whether you <laughs> can do certain things. Mm -hmm. But having said that, things work in Paripasu with each other. Exactly. Good roads is a panacea yeah. 
for people making the law. And most of the time, after one of the the GM of Lasma is a very good friend of mine, his wife is my classmate at Lasma. Mm -hmm. And the first thing they did that I liked was pick up two or three offenders two days after the law was made mm -hmm. and made examples of them. That's stopped the nonsense that people are trying to exploit. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why you see the thing has come down. For the first few days, every character in uniform mm -hmm. was on the road trying to extort money. But they arrested two or three of them and made a show of them. And the thing went down. That's what they are required to do as uh, managers of last month. But having said that, the reality we face is that unless the roads are up to par, mm -hmm. the moral element is on government. Yeah. To see that the laws are ah, I too much. Okay. That's, I think, so, so I think I think the takeaway here, patients, if you don't mind, is that you know the um, the effort is work is a welcome development effort by government and uh, last month mm -hmm. is a welcome development. But mm -hmm. however, efforts should be made to fix the road because we have, exactly. we, we have identified the roads mm -hmm. as major issues contributing to people trying to see how they can circumvent it to, <coughs> to, uh, for free flow of traffic. Okay, let's look at how viewers are contributing to this topic. Kennedy Uwozuzu says the roads are bad. Let him fix the roads so that people will not go one way for alternative uh, roads. Uh, this one just coming in says, uh, please, I want to know how the functions of the chief whip, I want to know the functions of the chief whip in the National Assembly. I beg. In, a, in, in, any, in any assembly, mm -hmm. no. the chair of the chief whip is basically that of discipline. It's discipline. Mm -hmm. like a problem. It's like the prefects mm -hmm. in a secondary school. Mm -hmm. That's his job. Okay. All right. Okay. Mr. Governor did well. We need iron hand in this country. But believe it or not, the last one office, officers will soon abuse it, use it to extort money. Benga Ido from Ikpaja sent that one in. There are numbers already provided. We have been extorted to okay, call. Okay, to call. So All right. Uh, excuse me. If, Go ahead. When, when you don't have, if you have broken the, if you have broken the law, like I yeah. said, would you have the moral right to call? You will not call mm -hmm. because the only thing you can do is to part with what they ask you to part. Mm -hmm. Now, so I, I, I feel that um, another thing that this traffic law should have said that would have made so much sense to me is the nuisance nature of Keke and Okara, <laughs> which this law has not addressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, good point. Mm. Philip says, the traffic laws are very okay, but what matters is the integrity of the LASMA officials. My question is, how will the LASMA be able to handle those government personnel and high-ranking individual who disobey the traffic law and influence the LASMA but with their is, own is the officers? caller aware mm. that there are cameras now to capture your plate numbers mm -hmm. and they bring the phone to your house? Mm. Yeah, things are moving. We'll get the other two. Yes. All right. This other one says the law is too harsh. It will pave way for corruption. Majority of the Lasma officials are not saints. Good afternoon to the panel. Traffic laws are good, but the people will not feel obligated to obey them until the government does its part. Fix the rules. Yeah. Come on, affair. Uh, send that one in. Mr. Razak says unless we are going to import <laughs> LASMA officials, then the law will be properly managed. All right, let me just read a couple more. Um, BC from Ogba says the new Lagos State Traffic Law is a welcome one. From your video clip, the governor emphasized that it is not for the enrichment Enrichment of traffic officials. Also, there are functional mobile courts in Lagos. Have you seen the recklessness on our roads lately? We see, yes, I have seen them. All right, let's look at some of the laws, uh, you know, that people are actually talking a whole lot about. Driver's license. Driving without a driver's license, I mean, you stand the chance of having your, your vehicle impounded. Uh, Eating and driving with one hand uh, is three months in prison. <laughs> one way driving is three years in prison, if you have not heard. Driving without fastening your seatbelt uh, now carries a fine of 30,000 naira. You do that a lot. Mm, a lot, yeah. A lot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's for your safety, I, I, actually. I think it's about, mm -hmm. it's about the people. Um, um, if some of these things, is, this law has been there mm -hmm. as long as... I can't remember. He has been there. Mm -hmm. What the, the new governor is doing is just trying to create 
this awareness for it. And let us drive this consciousness into us and let us understand that. Look, exactly. nobody should force you to use seatbelt. If you have ever had an accident, mm -hmm. you will appreciate the usefulness of seatbelt. Nobody should have fought because the moment you drive and someone eats you from behind, mm. not you eating someone else, mm. if you didn't use your seatbelt, your head is going Go straight, straight to, to the windscreen. Okay, all right. Uh, driving without roadworthiness, uh, you, your vehicle could be impounded. Also, um, there are a lot of laws here for the yellow buses, uh, so you have to go check that one out. Smoking while driving, 30,000 naira plus. Your vehicle could be impounded. Physically assaulting a traffic officer, 50,000 naira, uh, including six months in prison. And it goes on and on. I think there are about 36 of these traffic rules, and they are all online uh, for everyone to go check them out. And I think another thing that they should add. The law in itself can be amended. The issue add is that if you are found guilty of all these offenses and go to prison, you can't hold any public officer. Officer, okay, okay. Yeah. all right. Okay, as for that deterrent. Okay, let's push it along because of time. Nigeria and the free trade agreement. Uh, well, as we all know, on was it on Sunday? Nigeria has finally signed an agreement which aims to increase trade between African countries. Nigerian President uh, Muhammadu Buhari signed the landmark agreement at the African Union Summit in Niger. And the first step will be to cut tariffs for goods from countries within the bloc. Uh, but the time frame to do this is yet to be announced uh, okay i mean let me cut out all of the long uh, long script i have here but this is a historic step you know towards peace and prosperity do you also believe that this will be a game changer for africa in terms mm -hmm. of trade uh, okay, go on. Mr. can i mm -hmm. say something mr president no um while the 52 other countries mm -hmm. in africa are mm -hmm. signed Nigeria was the only country then that was food trading. Mm -hmm. There were um, cacophony of noises from all stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Don't sign, mm -hmm. sign, do not sign. We water down our own mm -hmm. industry. The manufacturers won't be selling anymore. The goods from Kotonou will flow into this place. Mm -hmm. And that brings back the president to say that, look, if we must sign, first and foremost, we must ensure that the products in other countries must have at least 90% African content. Not like you going to France, going to UK to import, import something, something and let it take it through the African, African border, border and then I get and that. that. Okay. Mm. And another thing is that we force some of this trade. That, that makes that Africa is just one country business wise. Exactly. Exactly. Now, if you make a continent a business entity. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Like the euro, you also relax other areas that make business flows well. Mm -hmm. Have those areas been addressed? That is what the president, president did not say mm -hmm. before he signed that. And I hope it comes out, his media people come out to address that. that what he asked to be done okay. was done mm -hmm. before he signed. Okay, uh, Mr. Sandy. Yeah, he's, he's not. Um, he's not not here to huru as oh. far as I'm concerned. Uh, no doubt. It ought to ordinarily be an economic game changer. Mm -hmm. um, it is long overdue because um, Africa has been missing out, if you like, on the supposed benefits, so yeah. to speak. Mm -hmm. But for me, the key thing is uh, what are the possible encumbrances, you know, that will prevent this from actually, you know, seeing light of the day or mm -hmm. the benefits coming in as much mm -hmm. as we, we we must look at the uh, the terrible road network. And the rail network in Africa, mm -hmm. even West African sub region. Yeah. You know, we must look at that. And then Nigeria must, it's not just to go and sign paper, you must equally look at your, you must create the enabling environment. Uh, environment. If you look at from Lagos to Kotonou, mm -hmm. it takes you two hours or two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, without, if it were a smooth road, it's 45 minutes, mm -hmm. but it will take you two and a half hours to get to the Kotonou border because of the terrible oh, road network mm. and how that's how you're going to now because one thing is to sign the agreement <coughs> of this free trade zone and all that and at the end of the day um you know when the benefits don't come you wouldn't know what happened the roads are terrible and then what is the possibility for a real network across the african continent and you can you can decide to 
you know, uh, tour Europe without actually driving. Mm -hmm. You can go by train. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I, I, that. I went to France, from France to Italy with my Schengen visa. Mm -hmm. So, so did you understand? Mm -hmm. so, so it is not just all that. So we must create the enabling environment. But I think, again, too, uh, the worry by some persons is um, what now becomes of the regional associations. Mm -hmm like ECOWAS, mm -hmm. you know, SADAC, mm -hmm. you know, the South African Development, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, mm -hmm. then the one for the Maghreb, you know, and all that. But uh, I don't think it's much of a worry because the, what this will now do is to liberalize, you know, the uh, the trade mm -hmm. uh, so that those who ordinarily are not members of this economic block... It gives you options. It, yes, but That's those okay. who are not members can now benefit. Uh, exactly. From, from it, all right, well, then have we looked at security? We can achieve so much prosperity without or even, security. you know, without security. There's so much going on in terms of insecurity in a lot of these African exactly. countries. How do we intend, you know, to checkmate this and still have, you know, successful trade? Well, I'm not a big fan of uh, trade agreements, obviously. Uh, the people who are going to serve the consequences are the Nigerian markets mm -hmm. and South Africa and Egypt. Just like Germany is carrying the load in Europe, mm -hmm. America is trying very hard to share the load in the US out of NAFTA. When they started this thing, it was the easy thing to do. But we've seen that those who signed very quickly, that does not really worked. And I don't see it working. And one of the proponents that the president should not sign, and, uh, but he has signed and are now banned by the law. Because mm -hmm. don't forget, that there are 11, there are 6 million people in the Republic of Benin mm. and they are importing 25 tons of rice. 11 million people, 25 tons. The very only is made for the Nigerian markets. The cars that are coming to Kutonu is on the average of 250,000 per day. Mm. And the entire people in the Kutonu is less than 11 million. So that is made for the Nigerian markets. markets. Yeah. And so we are creating problems for ourselves where we are not able to man our borders very well. We are now putting it up to everybody. Mm. And it's going to increase the security. It's going to give room for rural people like my friend who's supposed to have been deported and is still there. <laughs> and all that things I want to do. Mm. I do not agree with the trade agreement. I want it to work. Uh, it has not worked in the past for other people mm. to not work for Africa as even poor. Akogun is a de facto citizen of the, US, of the UK. If you want to put it that way. He knows that the, the, the reason why the Brexit comes through is as a result of the opening of the UK border. Mm -hmm. And you see, all of these things cannot work without political solutions too. Because you can't do business successfully. If I cannot <coughs> put my passport like I go to Ghana, I will go to South Africa. Mm -hmm. If I cannot do that, investors cannot move freely from Nigeria to Kenya because you must need a visa. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is a, on arrival visa yes, sir. for some countries. But, but, however, I can live here, just go procure my yellow card, and I just buy some, buy my ticket, and I'm in Ghana. Mm. The moment they will see, so all of those things needs to be relaxed. I guess that needs to work. I think a lot still has to be done, you know, on the street. Mm. I mean, most of the people are Africans don't even. We don't even buy Africa. I mean, that is even a huge problem. It does not exist. You cannot buy what does not exist. Yes. Okay. Julius Peter from Lagos says it will boost the economy. I see some people. Because they will go to this. Okay. Odu Oloso from Sangota says the government should fix the rules first before the implementation of the new traffic laws because all the rules are too bad to obey the law for now. Thank you. Seriously. People like this, they won't enjoy it. They are living in Kenya. All right, gentlemen. Our time is almost up. Can we have your quick submission? Yeah, but you're going to talk about the. Because I, I, yeah. I had my own experience, I, I we'll went to Ghana like, like mm -hmm. you know, but at the end of the day, it's the, it's the easiest thing to do. So you didn't find it cumbersome? No, like, a lot of Nigerians should that. just, okay. we are used to cutting corners. Yeah. You want to travel, plan your travel, go to the airport. Mm. Before now, <laughs> you could just pay your way and they get it for you. Yeah. Then go there and get the vaccination even mm -hmm. free of charge. Mm -hmm. Pay the normal statutory money and, and, get, and, get, and get it. it. Don't yeah. go through anybody. Follow the you we went there trying to beg them to say we could even psst, they were not interested in the money. But at the end of the day after we paid our statutory fee and then took the vaccination, my wife and I and mm -hmm. took our card. We had already gone to the gate and I said no, we're in Nigeria, let me go and say thank you to them. I was impressed by the way they went about it. 
there were about 100 people there. I thanked the, the nurses. I said, thank you very much for being very professional. I know what I'm on it. Better than Mohammed Airport. Just there by the gate, by the, yeah, by the toll gate. See, we money. must, we must learn. See, yeah, uh, this country must change. Things that we must learn way. to begin to do it the proper way. Exactly. If you go to American Embassy, you're going to conduct yourself properly. Yeah. So yeah. let's conduct ourselves so properly. properly. Yeah. I know that that, is, that should be... Ten Our seconds. time is up. Ten seconds. Yeah. I know that that should be the right thing to mm -hmm. do. But I think, instead of telling people to come and pay first, why can't governments incise us and let us know the danger of you Okay, anyways, we'll be discussing, you know, the new uh, Travelers uh, Yellow Card regime tomorrow on the show. We don't have time today. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter Sangui. Thank you to Thank God, you your person. Thank you, Akogun Ganikara.